Breaking right now, day two of testimony in the Cassandra Smith trial began with her 911 call moments after the crash that killed a deputy. Smith is accused of hitting and killing Charlotte County Deputy Christopher Taylor. Take a listen. Before that call, surveillance video shows Smith buying a four loco drink at the racetrack off of Daniels Parkway. She then walks out of the gas station, and you can see her get into the car with that drink in her hand. Wink News reporter Claire Galt live at the Charlotte County Courthouse. Claire, what's the latest today? Chris, both sides just rested their cases just a few minutes ago. They're going to begin closing arguments in the morning, but today really was a very difficult day in court. Perhaps the hardest moment was when we saw a picture that an EMS worker took of Cassandra Smith moments after the crash when she was taking her blood alcohol level, which was 0.258. That is more than three times the legal limit. Cassandra Smith smiled in that picture. A red four loco open under the car, a straw still in the can, liquor bottles in the passenger seat. This is what Master Corporal David Bruner told jurors he found when he went to check out Cassandra Smith's Army Green Jeep on November 22nd, 2022. The night prosecutors say Smith drove drunk, hit and killed Charlotte County Deputy Christopher Taylor. She had a very uh, dry, mushed mouth when she talked. Uh, I think one time when she's uh, in my vehicle, I've given her a bottle of water. Bruner, deputies and investigators rushed to the scene along I-75 North near the Jones Loop exit after getting this 911 call from Smith. Hi, On the second day of Smith's trial, prosecutors played security camera footage from before the crash. It shows Cassandra Smith walk into the racetrack off Daniels Parkway in Fort Myers, buy the Four loco, walk out and get in her car. What followed would forever change the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office, the Taylor family and all of Southwest Florida. Deputy Christopher Taylor's family have been in and out of the courtroom. They say that the trial is tough, but it's not as tough as losing Chris. Live in Charlotte County, Claire Gall, Wink News. Thank you very much, Claire.